I'd like to talk about the problem first. Uh, patients uh, who experience chest pain are faced with a dilemma. How do they react to that chest pain? Is that a heart attack or is it just indigestion? Huge problem for the patient because they know and the, their cardiologists know that time is critical. As cardiologists say, time is muscle. So their reaction time to their chest pain, that's uh, actually a heart attack in progress, is a critical factor in determining the outcome for that chest pain patient. Uh, Inasmuch as uh, it's clear that time to intervention is a critical factor, patients actually, in reality, take a long time to decide how to react to a chest pain. And uh, several pu publications have shown that it takes about three hours for a patient actually to decide to seek help in the, in, in the case of a heart attack. That increases the uh, mortality rate by 50%. So that, that is the key factor in determining the outcome, the medical outcome for that patient. And that's the very problem that we are addressing. The flip side of this problem is that 85% of the patients that go to emergency room for heart, uh, for a potential heart attack, for chest pain, are actually not there for a good reason. It is indigestion. That drives up the cost of unnecessary chest pain visits related uh, to this phenomenon to about $10 billion or more. So while we are talking about the problem, let's take a look at how many people are affected by this or how widespread is, is that phenomena and, and indeed what is the market size. The thing to remember is that there are about 8 million people in the US alone that have been intervened on for coronary artery disease, basically a heart attack patients uh, who have survived an intervention. And these patients are at very high risk for another heart attack. So that's, that's the population that we are going to go after in our each initial product introduction. Furthermore, there are about 40 million people in the US that have coronary artery disease, and they are on the path to getting a, a heart attack. So the message here is it's a huge problem and time to intervention is a very much a determining factor for the outcome. There are many advances in hospital, inside a clinical uh, uh, setting, how to treat the heart attack, but all that is, is secondary to the time to intervention as the primary determination of how well the patient will do. So we have developed, to address this problem, we have developed a, um, a system that we call eye cardiologist. This system is actually able to advise the patient on how to proceed when they experience a heart attack or chest pain in general. So it, it's very simple to use um, an app followed by a, a device that you carry in your wallet, and I always carry it in my wallet, of course. This is the device that you press against your chest, and 30 seconds later, the signal goes up to the cloud where your symptoms and your risk factors reside, and it all, all that gets analyzed, and a patient advice is derived. At the same time, we also could have, although it's not required, could have a cardiologist or physician involved in this whole process and that they would get symptoms and a 12 lead ECG. So our capabilities is uh, going beyond, well beyond Apple Watch and other single lead ECG solutions. We actually have a technology that's 12 lead equivalent and actually goes beyond that. We, since we have created a new category here, we wanted to prove to ourselves first and foremost and, and, and to the future investors that it works. And we've done four studies for, for a, a, a company of our development phase. I believe that that's pretty remarkable. The first study was basically comparing a 12 lead ECG diagnosis of, of a heart attack to our ability to detect a heart attack. And we have compared ourselves with some of the best cardiologists in the world, and we were 20%, 20% 
better in our accuracy in detecting heart attack just looking at the 12 ECG. The next study was more comprehensive. It actually dealt with the chest pain population in the emergency room. And there we were equal, slightly better, but call it equal to a panel of three cardiologists in triage in those, those patients. The next study was more about actually uh, false positives. And we have shown that we had no false positive in about 1,200 patients. The technology is, is, is based on a three-dimensional treatment of the heart's electrical activity. And it's a novel because it really does not rely on a two-dimensional representation that 12 lead ECG has. And the next, what's ahead of us is, is FDA clearance and the launch of the product. Mm -hmm. Our customers are indeed providers and uh, uh, payors. Uh, they stand to be both benefit from our technology, especially uh, uh, payors, because we will reduce uh, time to intervention, but we will also introduce uh, reduce the number of unnecessary uh, visits. Um, we believe we have a world-class team. We combine uh, experience of large companies and startup experience as well, and we have a mix of technology and life science, life science experts. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.